Hey guys, Gaming Dad 56 here, and bringing you <clears throat> another introductory episode. Since the last time I did a more realistic video, uh, the more realistic mod has come out of its beta version and into the full release version. So I wanted to put out a new video, kind of an introduction to help people get going uh, with the new setup which is really, really easy, by the way. So this will be super simple. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the more realistic mod, what does it do? It is a mod that changes the entire gameplay experience. It's going to redo the physics of Farming Simulator and make it more realistic, hence the name. And all of a sudden, driving the machinery in the game becomes a much more pleasant experience. Uh, you have to actually use your brakes. You have to think about tractor horsepower when you're pulling trailers and combine horsepower when you're in fields. And there's a lot of things that go into it. It's a very complex mod. However, overall, it improves the gameplay experience for a lot of players because it makes it a more realistic feeling game. It feels like you're actually out there driving the equipment instead of just playing kind of an arcade style tractor driving game. Um, so here's how you get started. I love this mod. I started playing this mod back in Farming Simulator 2011. I played it extensively for Farming Simulator 2013. It did not come out for Farming Simulator 15 so I'm super happy to see it back for 17 and I want to help as many people get going in this mod as I can because I think it will make the game so much more enjoyable for you. So to get started with this you have to have Farming Simulator obviously and make sure your game is up to date. Go to farming-simulator.com and I'll put a link in the description for that website. Go to the mod page and then you're going to just look through the mods until you find the more realistic mod. Um, and it is not on this page. So we'll scroll down. We'll go to the next page. Whenever you're watching this, you may have to go through a few pages to find it. Uh, don't count that it's going to be on the same page as where I'm finding it. But here we go. More realistic gameplay and the more realistic game engine. These are two separate files. Now, the more realistic game engine, if you want that realistic physics and all of the changes that more realistic brings about to basically the physics engine of the game, then this is the file that you want. Um, reading here through the description, um, it, it changes the forces so that they're more, re more uh, reflective of real life. Variable rolling resistance, air resistance, gravities, draft forces on implements or PTO powers pulling power from the engine. Uh, a lot more realistic gameplay. Um, you can read through this description if you want to download the mod. But once you're there, it's as simple as downloading the zip. And we will save it. Excellent. Then we're going to go back. That's the more realistic game engine. That's what changes the physics. So now we want to go back and grab this more realistic game play. Now this one, if you take a, a quick read through the description, these changes that this file makes to the game are uh, yields of the crops, prices of the crops when you go to sell them, things like that. Uh, not necessarily the physics of driving the machines, but uh, changes to make the economy system more realistic. So it's a it's another good file to have. If you're not going to play, if you're going to play the, the vanilla game with just the MR mod, I definitely suggest both of these files. However, if you're playing on maps that already alter yields or prices, things like that, then you may not want this more realistic gameplay file because it's going to conflict with what is on the map. But the same process, we download this and save it. We'll open up the folder that these are in. And then I also want to open up my Farming Simulator 2017 folder. And that is found in My Games. So Mo Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2017. You should have a Mods folder. 
right now there's nothing in it when you first start with more realistic i definitely suggest starting with a clean mods folder nothing else in there and just get a feel for the more realistic mod itself so just transfer these two files fs17 more realistic and fs17 more realistic gameplay into your mods folder and that's it you're now ready to go and again i definitely suggest starting with just those two mods so you get a feel for how more realistic works once you get a feel for it then you can start adding back in mods maps things like that however i want to state here especially with equipment mods you have to keep in mind if it is not a more realistic mod if somebody has not converted it to be compatible with the more realistic mod it's not going to behave like a more realistic vehicle in the game more realistic only changes the, the equipment that is there in the base game and the dlcs it does not convert anybody else's mods so if you want to say you find a john deere tractor that you really like and you that ha you have to have that in your game if it's not converted to more realistic it's not going to behave like a more realistic tractor you're going to have to go out and find a more realistic version of it or try to convert it to more realistic uh, by yourself and i'll show you where to do that um so we are actually ready to get into the game before we get into the game i want to show you one more website fs-uk.com and i'll also link this in the description below the video fs-uk is a website forum mod download page they have a lot of the same mods that the mod hub does on farming-simulator.com but they have some extra ones as well uh, you can get to those by clicking on this download mods here you can also go to the forums now if you want to know about the more realistic mod the fs-uk forums are where to go scroll down this page until you get to farming simulator modding and mod support you'll see a sub board here more realistic mod click on that and here you have all the information about more realistic including some important information here a lot of talk when this was still in beta which is not necessarily a huge deal at this point anymore and also on the sub board of that called modding for mr you have this fs17 mr conversion database where people can put mods that they have converted uh, and then conversion support so if you click on here you'll find helpful uh, tips on how to convert vehicles from standard to more realistic if you have your some of your favorite mods maybe you want to give that a shot so that you can play with some of your favorite mods in a more realistic form so with that said we are ready to get into the game so i'm going to go ahead and open up the game and we're going to take a look at the more realistic mod and quickly just real quickly we're going to take a look at some of the changes that you can see with the more realistic mod so i'll be right back welcome back guys so now i've started up the game fired it up and we are ready to get in and start a more realistic game so hop into career mode i'm going to go into a game that just a brand new game doesn't really matter what difficulty setting i'm going to pick gold crest valley why not character and here we go this screen is is very important just like all other mods that you've loaded in uh in farm sim 17 you have to check them and select them here and then start your game so we're going to do that the only thing i have in here you can see by the way is the big bud pack again like i suggested more realistic more realistic gameplay and that's it so you get a feel for how it works uh if it is important because as you start to add in mods to the more realistic setup you kind of need to know how they're supposed to feel how tractors are supposed to feel and combines and things like that as you're using them so that if a mod isn't working properly or if a mod you add uh, causes a conflict and something's acting up you know because you know what it's supposed to be like so here we're going to start the game um nothing too critical here i want to really demonstrate except you'll notice started a brand new game uh, and everything is exactly as it would be if you had just started this game in a non-more realistic form. We've got our same tractors. Uh, we've got 
the same equipment that you would have in a in a non mere non more realistic game. Quickly, I'll show you a change so that you can see this more realistic setup. Hooking up the Hurleyman here to just the DVA trailer, nothing too big. Take it for a little cruise. On flat ground, we can pull. We can get this trailer up above 20 miles per hour. It's like around 24, 24 miles per hour. Looks like where we're topping out. You also notice how long the tractor took to get up to speed. It took a while. Uh, and then we're going to go up this hill here. Up we go. And immediately, as soon as we start going up the hill, you see our speed dropping all the way down to 20 miles per hour right now. That's one of the things that the more realistic mod does. Overall, it makes physics much more realistic. Uh, and you can see the effects while you're driving multiple vehicles. Um, this is just one of the easiest ones to show off. So what I'm going to do right off the bat, I'm going to fill this trailer up with 15, however many thousand liters of wheat this will hold. I think it's 10. Good. 10,000 liters of wheat. Okay. So we saw we came up the hill at around 20 miles. It slowed us down to about 20 miles per hour. We're going to see how it does with the full load now. Now you'll notice as I'm trying to accelerate, it's taking the tractor and trailer a while to get up to speed. You can almost feel it kind of struggling to get moving. And our top speed here, we're really not getting close to that 24 mile per hour top speed. As we start going downhill... You're going to notice our speed really starting to ramp up really quickly. And if I take a turn, you can see it kind of sliding around. It doesn't want to do this because of all the weight in the trailer pulling it. Turn back around and let's take it up the hill. Now with a load. And you can see now we're really struggling up the hill. In five miles per hour. It really bogs down the tractor to pull a load this heavy up the hill. So, uh, last thing I want to show you. As I get some speed here, let's go out to the road. I'm going to get up to speed and then I'm going to let off the brakes. Or let off the gas, I mean. And watch... Especially now that I'm going downhill, I'm actually still accelerating. There is, just like in real life, there's really no braking force. You're going to continue to roll. Now, there is some friction from the, from the ground. So now you see I'm slowing down. But look how long it's taking. So now I can apply the brakes. Something to keep in mind here with a more realistic mod. The driving is going to be different. The way you operate equipment is going to be different. And it adds to uh, a whole nother level of gameplay that, that really helps you get immersed in the game. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the more realistic mod. Uh, in some future videos, I hope to take a look at uh, more specifically some of the differences between the more realistic mod and the vanilla game uh, but this should give you a good introduction get you started in the more realistic mod and kind of show you a little example of how the physics have changed uh, while driving vehicles you actually have to use brakes now and get tractors with the proper horsepower so enjoy uh, if you like the video please like comment subscribe uh, share with friends um, and again, get people into this more realistic mod. It is a lot of fun. Uh, so until I see you guys next time, thanks for watching.